Of gold crypto investing, and we're going to start here on this uh, mid after. Or actually, it's late morning where I'm at on this sunny but high overcast. And uh, if you can believe this already, almost uh, completely through one third of the way of old Vincenzo's worst time of the year, old summertime, as we're approaching the end of June already. If you can believe that, as the day slowly start to get shorter here over the next couple of weeks and actually it's already started but it's very slow over the next 30 days right until we get into mid to late july and get about half one two-thirds of the way through the summertime right but we're about a month away from the dog days of summer right but if we look at what's going on here take a look at some breaking news as i'm your most trusted source for blockchain technology and cryptocurrency breaking news and coin updates right no, and chums with gold crypto investing. And you can see we're going to take a look at the dollar. The dollar stumbles as markets rethink interest rate path. The U.S. dollar slipped on Friday and we're excited for its worst week. Its first weekly decline this month as traders dial down bets on where interest rates may peak and brought forward their view on the timing of rate cuts to counter a possible recession, right? Which that is going to happen. And that's why I've been harping on everybody. Uh, to be out of the market and it was going to tank the equity markets and uh, the cryptos because they were going to raise rates and try to fight inflation. As we know, they're not going to win the fight on inflation and they're not even trying that hard. But what's going to end up happening, as old Vincenzo has been saying, is eventually the Fed will cry uncle again and they're going to cut rates and start printing massive amounts of money to try to print themselves out of an obvious recession. We're in a recession already. Not officially, nobody's recognizing it as a recession because you need two quarters of negative uh, GDP. And right now we printed the first one in quarter one and quarter two is almost over. Uh, it actually ends this month and we're going to be negative GDP again this month and then that'll be an official recession. But the government won't uh, tell you it's a recession until you know, you're five, six months in, just like the bear market and stocks and crypto. Nobody wanted to stay. The stock market was in a bear market two months ago, a month ago, when it was down 8%, 12%, 15%, 18%. They just kept saying it was a correction because the way the media and the propagandist machine, that is the corporate and mainstream media directed by the United States government, because they're all infiltrated by the same criminal gangsters that have uh, hijacked this country. And I've been saying it as a bit and a gimmick, but they really have hijacked the country. And it happened 100 years ago uh, when the Federal Reserve came in and the Federal Reserve uh, was given uh, power to own our currency, right? Once they own your currency, it's over. Once a central bank implants itself like a cancer, they own your currency, which means you don't own it and your currency becomes uh, junk because you have to pay debt to get it. You have to pay interest in order to create new money, right? It's not good. And that's why I say it's been infiltrated. And like a henchman, Joe Biden, just a puppet up there. I mean, the guy's cognitive abilities is near zero, right? He's, I don't even think he's going to live through his first term. Look at the guy. He, he can't even talk, right? He's just a little puppet up there to keep the Democrats happy, even though a lot of Democrats don't like this guy because he's so far to the left now, which I actually like because it's making more people come back towards the middle and be like, whoa, these motherfuckers be crazy, son, crazy, right? 
just the same as if you get too far to the right, people go, motherfuckers, be crazy, right? You know? You want a nice balance of freedom, right? You don't want any one of these groups to get too out of control where they start doing something that might seem good to somebody, but that opens the door for the other side to do something on a legal basis, right? If you start doing stupid shit. But I digress. That's a whole other topic and a rant for another place and another time, right? And maybe in a different video. But uh, you can see I've been telling you that uh, since uh, I've been on this channel that the rate hikes are coming and they're here. But I've also been telling you once you get down to a certain point, they have to reverse course or the whole thing completely comes unglued and you have a, uh insolvency crisis where the United States can literally go insolvent and your money's worth nothing like Venezuela, right? Go look up Venezuela and many other countries, Greece, uh, Japanese, right? But it's a big problem and I think they're going to pivot and they're going to be called uncle as inflation and we, that's why I've been touting this as not a, de not a depression or a recession, but it's an inflationary depression, right? Because they're gonna they're gonna stop doing what they're doing, and they're gonna massively start printing money again and jack rates down, and the inflation's just gonna soar up to the moon, and asset prices will probably continue to skyrocket. But you're gonna have depressed growth, and it's it's worse than stagflation. It's the worst of both worlds, and you, you, it's gonna be a bad situation. And that's why I'm heavily investing in mining stocks because I believe they're going to have the biggest return for their buck because they're real companies. They're generating massive profits, not as much as they were the last couple of years, but they will be generating massive profits with the gold that they have on their site, uh, the stability and the revenue of their companies, and they pay dividends, real dividends, because they have real earnings, right? So these companies are paying me 3 4 5 6% a year and yield because they can, because they generate a real profit. Right? It's not like a crypto lending firm that's generating 20% interest to you, but then you find out that you should already know they don't have an income or, or they don't have a profit. So how are they paying those returns? It's all by new money. It's just sophisticated Ponzi schemes. And then these lending services go belly up when you have a time of a crisis. Like right now, my mining stocks in a time of a crisis, their share price goes down and they usually jack up their dividend payments because they don't want people to sell because they know eventually this, the, the bad time passes and then you reap the rewards later as you accumulate more and more shares. As I take my two, three, four, five, six percent dividends and I uh, exchange them into shares to buy me more shares, right? So then when it appreciates, I make that much more. But uh, you can see it says, we measured the U.S. unit against six major currencies with fiat to marginally weaker, around 104.3. It rose 0.2% on Thursday, mostly driven by euro decline after weak business activity. Data uh, reduced thoughts for European central banks tightening the dollar up around 9% this year, has lost some of its shine since investors started, started betting the Federal Reserve could slow the rate tightening process. Following another 75 basis point increase in July, they now see rates peaking next March around 35 and, face, and, and falling by nearly 20 basis points by July 2023. I think they're going to be a lot lower than that by then, right? I think by the end of this year, it's going to be so bad. The Fed's already going to be back to, they could be back to 1% by the end of the year, right? Uh, I'm not, I think it's going to take a little bit longer, but I'm going to, I think after you get out of the summertime and inflation keeps soaring and the stocks start to tank again and the, the unemployment starts to rise, you're going to see the Fed pivot pretty quickly or at least start talking about thinking about maybe pivoting, which would be enough for the market to skyrocket, right, and inflation to soar. Not to skyrocket, but it would start the reversal or maybe a bottoming pattern, right? But now let's get into the Bitcoin, or I want to do a big tangent on this one. But uh, you can see uh, the gold price, the only asset this year, it's year to date. The only asset besides houses that are still up on the year. That's very important. Gold's not there to get you rich. And one of the, char one of the things these YouTube charlatans and in this crypto community with the laser eyes, they try to correlate uh, ascending price with a store of value. That's not, that's completely wrong. A store of value is it holds your purchasing power, right? And something like Bitcoin went down 70%. Yeah, it's up from its, obviously, its start, but gold is up, obviously, from its start, too. If you want to go to gold, 
way back here, gold's up at 8,743% from its inception on this market that I can look at. 8,743%. And, and essentially what that does is it's been holding its purchasing power. But in the times of a crisis, it doesn't go down 80% in two months. Look at this year so far, a massive liquidity crunch in all these equity markets with raising rates. If, you've, if you had your money in gold bullion, you're even. You're up slightly on the year, which means if you exchange that bullion that you bought over the last 10 years and you sold it this year for cash, it would have a, a much higher purchasing power than the rest of the cash that you've had in assets that's lost purchasing power if you sold it, crypto that's lost purchasing power uh, right this year. It's held its purchasing power if, if you've been accumulating gold. And at crises where the markets are down 30%, so you could exchange gold and buy stocks down 30, 50, 70, 80% down because your gold hasn't lost any value, right? That's what holding its value is, and that's what gold does, and that's the power of gold. And then as crises mature, gold eventually, even if it goes down quick for a few months, as the crisis matures, gold will eventually with the price respond to that money supply, right? If they increase a bunch of money supply, eventually gold will catch up to it. It does nothing for a long time, and then it spikes, right? And then it consolidates, and then it spikes, because that's just how gold works. And uh, over time, that's why it's a, 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 a patience man's game if you want to buy the bullion uh, to, to preserve your wealth, because you buy it over time, and then you wake up and you're 30 years later after you've been buying for 30 years, and that purchasing power can get you the same thing it started when you bought your first ounce 30 years ago, right? Year to year, it's got volatility uh, as far as up and down in the spot price. But 30 years from the time you bought your first bar, 100% of the time, you're going to have more purchasing power than when you converted your fiat into the gold bar to save it for future spending, right, on land, assets, etc. Versus if you cup it in the dollar, if you cup it in the dollar. But you can see some of the companies that I really like are uh, Pan America Silver. They're a very good company. Uh, you can see their all-time stock price is up, down, up, down, up, down, right? And uh, they pay a 2.25% dividend. Kinross Gold is a good company. You can see their stock price has been up, down, up, down. And right now they're down. It's a great time to buy. Right, and you see they pay a 2.97% dividend a year. DPL, I'm speculating on. Right, speculation can be bad, but speculation can be good. And I do think this company will turn it around. And I am not selling my shares, obviously. B2 Gold is a phenomenal company. You can see their all-time price on this chart. It's gone up, down, up, down, up, down. If you bought it uh, in, 19, in 2011, you're down 3%. But if you bought it in 2015, you're up 215%. If you bought it in 2013, you're up 46%. If you bought it in 2018, you're up 54%. If you bought it on the COVID dump, you're up 18%, right? So over time, this mining stock does good, and it pays 4.40%. You can see the earnings per share, 0.39 P of 9, a little low. Earnings per share rising. It's been doing better. And then AEM, I own. And you can see their gold price from 1979, when it was at $2.88, you're up 1,600%. And if you bought it anywhere except these big peaks, you're in profit over time. And they have a P of 24, it's about average, a market cap of $22 billion, and they pay a 3.22% dividend. And they have a pretty good high 1.94 earnings per share. That means they're almost making $2 per share, so it's phenomenal for the shareholders. And I think that's a great company. Uh, and I would... I've, I'm been accumulating. I'm going to continue accumulating because I think these are great companies, and I think eventually gold is going to skyrocket. This was more of a rant and a uh, gold uh, update than it was crypto. I think crypto has got a nice pump coming soon, but could it come down to some of these lower support levels first? Yes. And my first support level that I'm targeting is uh, let's get out to the hour time frame. Is sitting down here at the at this the little pattern that we're playing. You see how we kind of got a head and shoulders topping reversal. So this little resistance where it was resistance, 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 resistance on the back test of this, right where the 50 day moving or the hundred day moving average in blue is on this white line. We'll make this white line a little bit bigger. And we're going to change the color to yellow and we're going to make it bigger. 
that is where I'm targeting as a possible bounce point, right? If you come, when you're coming back and back test this, this could be a nice bounce point. Or the other option is it doesn't hold this and it comes all the way back down and does something like that real quick and then could come up. So those are my two areas I'm watching today because I do still believe we could have a nice bounce, but I see how this could come down because uh, eventually it is coming way down. Uh, this is this bear market's not over. But bounce point one is right here on a back test, similar to how it held this and pumped, but now it's getting rejected. But if it doesn't hold that, you would flip back down to the supply zone, which is down in this range, right? Like, subscribe, and share to Vincenzo's Go Crypto Investing. The next update will be more of just a uh, Bitcoin and crypto update. Peace and love to my beautiful audience.